Hey traders, John Howell here today. Bit of a market update, so let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, I'm running a sale, $7 for my trading course you can see on the screen right now. If you'd like to grab that, very first thing in the description or just go to johnsflushsale.com. Now, let's go have a look at the S&P 500. And the good thing is guys, Russell is starting to break out. Very, very, very interesting. And the really interesting thing that I'm seeing on the, on the S&P 500 is that we're continuing to have this very, very, very nice, just sort of big, big sort of uh, bull move out of these markets here. We can see that ever since we got this movement down, and uh, again, if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you would know this, I actually had a momentum trend line like this, and I said once we actually break that, we're probably likely to see a race to new highs, and especially once we got this higher low as well too, right? Because the market works with these lows, right? Higher low, higher low, low, double bottom, and then suddenly it's like, what's going on here? Oh, there's a bit of a question mark around here. Then we have a higher low and then we break past previous highs and then guess what? Away we go in the markets, right? So that's what we're seeing through there on the S&P. Just to continue another nice little small little update today. Moving over now through to NASDAQ and look at the NASDAQ just power on, right? NASDAQ, here we go. My 17,000 target. You guys know I've had for a long time. But the NASDAQ is racing towards its 17,000. Um, here we go for the NASDAQ, right? Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. So we could see once again, bit of a pullback, and then we got this low, we got a bit of a gap up. That's actually a breakaway gap, a breakaway gap after this pullback. Then look at this just beautiful, beautiful upward move for the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is just powering along very nicely. Dow Jones, Dow Jones also powering along very nicely, especially after just doing nothing for quite some time. So the Dow Jones is definitely, definitely a uh, continuing to power along really, really nicely. You can see we actually had really like a bit of a really not much going on and now we're broken up and now we're actually breaking up to all time new highs. So possibly, possibly that the Dow Jones is gonna end up at 40,000 by the end of this year. So maybe, just maybe, uh, depending on what happens with the overall markets there. And the big thing guys, the big thing that I really wanna uh, sort of share with you in today's update is this one right here. This is the Russell 2000 index right the russell 2000 and look at this right for we actually spent a lot of time right firstly what are we doing we actually spent a lot of time just going sideways here look at this here not much going at all and you could see that we had this overall bull market right because we had this move up pull back move up pull back move up pull back move up and look at this just long pullback and now we're starting to break out again Wow, wow, wow. Look at the Russell, right? The Russell really is starting to starting to make some moves. And if we do a little funky dunky trend line here, we can really see, look at, yeah, just look at the breakout, right? Very, 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 very nice, strong breakout on the Russell. We're breaking out of this sideways range. And we are, and so what I've done is I've actually drawn a channel and that's actually from this low point here. And now I've just connected all these lows and now we're just starting to break up and out of this sort of sideways range here. So that tells me that looking at this very big breakout bar, it tells me that we're probably likely to be spending a bit of time, especially on this Russell 2000, probably likely to be spending a bit of time now racing to the upside. And we probably have, uh, I would say, wow, maybe a 20% move is coming um, in the a 20 or 20, 20, 25% move coming out of the Russell. So that actually is looking quite strong uh, through there. Let's have a quick look at the other mining, uh, the other sectors here. So home builder stocks, home builder, or home builder sector is not really doing much or hasn't really been doing much lately, just sideways. But once we do start to break out of that, we expect some nice moves. Moving over now to the financial sector. And the financial sector is really not doing much. Just uh, we definitely do have, let's actually see if we can identify some sort of strong levels of support um, and also resistance here, right? So we have that level through there. Um, let's actually just, we'll draw that through there. That'll be the major low point through there. And then if I draw this up 
I'd have to say, wow, look at that. And that pretty cool, right? So I'd have to do something through there, I would say. In fact, let me just draw it from there to there. Let me take that off the screen and then let's go from there to there. And we should be able to get, yeah, that actually looks quite nice. Somewhere through there anyway. So it does look like that now breaking out of look and we just we've actually just broken out of this sideways range through here as you can see so we spent a bit of time this is very very similar right this is very similar to what the russell 2000 has done sideways and now we're breaking up so to me it looks like the financial sector is about to make a nice move probably from where we are right now what have we got there probably 10 or so percent movement to the upside uh you know on the on the uh the home builder etf very 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 nice there and also the uh the dow jones etf as you guys know if you guys remember i did a video back here where we actually had a major significant this is that long-term level of support and i was saying that once we actually get down to here there's a very good chance we're going to bounce and we're going to start to race back up to, to, to new highs and we're almost at new highs already so that's actually working really really well so for a lot of these calls that i've made guys over the last couple of months one we're likely to bounce and get a very nice move out of the support level on the rust on the dow jones that's exactly what's happened even on the s p 500 when we got this uh when, when we got this higher low and then a breaking up and then we got this breaking of this downward trend line i said we're likely to race to all-time new high so a lot of things are actually working out really, really, really well. So there we go, traders. Make sure you grab that $7 trading course below. If you need help with anything, your foundation, what goes into a good trader, chart reading, trading systems. If you need that breakthrough in your course, in your life, then go get that, guys. $7. I'll speak to you soon.